All right, guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the wild man's wild friends. This guy happens to be the blue crab. Um, the scientific name actually comes from two Greek words, which means beautiful swimmer. And these guys are native to the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Ocean. They're pretty common as a food source for humans. Um, you gotta know the regulations though. You know, these guys have to be at least four inches across here. So this guy's too small, we're gonna throw him back. But I was just teaching the little peppers one way to get some crabs. They'll actually grow up to about 10 inches in uh, width. And um, a lot of fish and eels and stingrays are going to eat them. Um, they are, like I said, big in the, uh, as far as a food supply for people. Um, we sometimes have the stuffed crab shells and stuff too. Uh, they're an omnivore. So out there in the, uh, out there in the ocean, they're going to be eating animals that are smaller than them. They're going to feed on plant material but they're also uh, part of the cleanup crew. So when animals die on the bottom, these guys will uh, eat carrion and kind of keep things nice out there. Uh, the females will actually carry the eggs with them. And then when the eggs uh, hatch, they go through a couple stages too and they kind of float on the surface and eventually um, become bigger crabs. So now let's take a little closer look at him. He's pretty cool, pretty beautiful. And uh, you can see these back paddles. You know, they can swim pretty well sideways through the water like that. So just another one of my wild friends. I've caught these before and I uh, just wanted to show the little peppers how to do it. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.